Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about five rules that you need to follow if you want to become a consistently profitable trader. It's helped me transform from blowing up accounts to become more consistent. So if you want to be more consistent in the markets and have less volatility in your P&L statement, then you're going to want to watch this video. Hit that thumbs up button if you appreciate this. My goal is to help you become a consistently profitable trader. If you're not there yet, it's coming. So without further ado, let's dive into it. On the screen, we just have NASDAQ on the five minute chart. We have a funded account that I'm trading at the bottom here. We started this one on top of the other challenges uh, last week. So we're up 9,000 so far uh, just this week. And the first thing that you wanna do is have a max number of trades that you're allowed to place. So max number of trades has helped me not over trade. And the reason why it's bad to over trade is because you have less judgment in your calls with each trade. It takes a lot of willpower and thinking. And uh, there's actually a study that proves that you can only make two highly emotional decisions each day before you get drained and you, your judgment becomes worse after the second decision. So my max trades is three per day. And here is me taking partials off or adding back on. So basically I was in some trades. I was in a long here and then I started shorting and I covered all my shorts here and I took one more short here took off the partials, took off the partials and, and got out. So I had three trades of the morning and this was a, a, just a test in free market. We can ignore that. But I have three trades in the morning and I'm allowed to take one trade from uh, two to 3 p.m. And that's gonna go right into the second rule. And the second rule is to make sure that you have specific trading times that you're allowed to trade. So I only trade 9.30 to 11.30 and two to 3 p.m. I'm not allowed to place a trade anytime outside those times. Why is that so important? That's so It's important because you can get caught up sitting and, and taking setups all day, but your setups may not be profitable in those times. I can't tell you how many times I've traded 9.30 to 11.30, made money, sat on the screens, saw another setup that looked so good, but it was at 12 o'clock, took it and gave back all the profits. And the setup could be so good, but that's just not the profitable trading time for my strategies. I've tested and proven these strategies. They've done, the, they've been the most profitable in the 9.30 to 11.30 and the 2 to 3 p.m. hours. So there can be the setups, the same setups in other hours, but it won't be as profitable. So very important to identify the key times you're gonna trade. Number one, it's probably gonna be around your work schedule, but number two, you, you wanna actually build those times based on the strategies that you find and you back test and how you, you wanna find ones that are profitable in those times so that way you can stick to those times and get the most out of your trading. The third rule I have that is extremely important, it is having a max loss, daily loss, or a max number of trades that you're allowed to lose before you have to stop. So for me personally, if I take two back-to-back -back losses, I'm done for the day, the entire day, I'm done. Why? Because I have noticed time and time again, if I take two losses back-to-back, -back, I am so tilted. My emotions, I get very angry. And if I don't step away, care goes out the window, I'm going to size up even bigger to try to make back the loss on the next setup and I'm gonna blow up my account or I'm gonna just take severe drawdown that's completely unnecessary. So I personally don't allow myself to take more than two losses back to back and I have defined risk. So I have a defined stop loss, which is actually going into the fourth rule. So the fourth rule is knowing your stop loss before you place a trade. You must always place and know your stop before you get in the trade. So if you wanna get in a trade now, you have to identify to yourself, okay, this stop is gonna go below this wick, I'm gonna get in the long, and that's done. And then it's set, and you're not allowed to change a stop. The only time you're allowed to change a stop is if you wanna move it up to break even. Otherwise, that stop stays the same. So knowing your stop loss and, and setting and deciding on it and not changing it is a crucial rule. I have taken extreme amounts of unnecessary drawdown. I've had good win rates, 80%, 80% win rate, but had losing months with an 80% win rate because I, I refused to put a stop loss. I thought that I would be right at the end and let's say it went past my stop in my head. I didn't have a stop place. I thought it would come back and it keeps going further and further. And then I kind of thought that it would come back and it just kept going further and further. You know how it works plenty of times. So always have a predefined stop loss if you wanna get rid of any headaches or any crazy drawdowns that can number one, blow your account, but number two, give back a month's profit in one trade. You can easily give back one full month's profit in one trade. 
just by not having a stop loss. So I think it's extremely crucial. Every single one of these rules are so crucial, but having a stop loss and knowing it and sticking with it before you get in a trade is one of the most important. At the same time, the tilt one, the max loss or max back-to-back -back number of losses is so important because again, there has been so many times where I've blown up uh, an account, it could be a funded account or it could be just taking extreme amounts of drawdown uh, because I took two losses, then my care went out the window, thought I'd make it back to the next setup, doubled the size and took another loss until it gets to the point where you're so frustrated with yourself where you just you put it down after you've lost so much money. And then it becomes very hard to come back from because you lost confidence and a whole host of things. You, you start to feel hopeless because you dug yourself such a big hole to, in one day. And that's usually what happens in trading. If you can manage yourself, you can always come back. But if you if you fail to manage yourself, you can get to a point where you, you may not ever recover because of emotional, psychological damage, and then obviously money damage because you overtraded and over leveraged after being tilted from losses. So those are the most important for protecting drawdown. It is the stop loss and having a max loss or max number of trades loss, and then you're done for a day, the day so you can come back fresh tomorrow. The fifth one, which is, is a pretty much a bonus one, and it's more for learning, it is to screenshot every single trade you take. So every trade I take, I put a I put a profit, a loss. So if I wanted to go long, I put the long on, I drag the stop where I want it to be, I put the TP where I want it to be, and then I would type on the screen, uh, you know, bullish market structure, long for new highs, got in on reversal candle. You know, if you pay attention to volume, you could say like higher volume on this candle, etc. Uh, sometimes I write down the risk reward, so like 1.5 R, if there's 1.5 R, and I'll write down the time. So then I'll go there, and then I'll just come up to the top right, press download image, and boom, saved it, put it on my computer, and file it away every single trade, every single trading day, and have a file of every trading week. So you can go back, you open a folder, and you see the week of uh, December 10th, Go pull it up on the, the trading view. You see all the pictures of all the trades you took from the week of December 10th to December 15th, the Monday to the Friday. So every week you have a file, you have all the pictures of all the trades you took with writing on there. And then at the end of every week, I go back and I watch them. But rule number five is to screenshot every trade you take with the uh, long and the, the stop loss and the TP because you can learn crazy lessons just by looking back on it. Later at the end of the day, you'll see, you'll go back and look on a trade, you'll be like, wow, why did I why did I even take that? You know, it, might, it may not look good looking back after because you have a fresh set of eyes. So those are my five rules that I believe you need to follow if you wanna become a consistently profitable trader and quit suffering with extreme drawdowns or blowing up accounts. If you found this video, video useful, hit that thumbs up button. It lets me know that you like these kind of videos. Subscribe for more videos just like this. I post two videos a week, one on a market analysis and one on the trades I'm taking. Currently recording a series on the Apex, Apex Trader Funding. I'm working on funding 20 accounts, getting them funded. I have one down, we got another one that's about to be funded. Uh, so stay tuned for that. That video is gonna be coming out on the weekend. Once this trading week ends, we'll do a full recap of all the trades I took. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.